Hello and thank you for joining us for this month's Smile Create Repeat step-by-step -step demonstration video. We're going to be using supplies from the February 2018 surprise. My name is Tony Luongo. Let's get started. And I'm just sketching with my gray pencil here. See if we can't get. And my plan is to like use this as like the underdrawing, and then almost like when we do inking, to then ink over it with the darker pencil, the 2B Kimberly, and use this um, also as a a light, a mid to light value. And you can see I'm going quickly because um, I'm sketching it, but also just because um, there's going to be lots of layers over this, I think. So I'm just trying to get it started so we can get just, I'm just working on it, that's all. All right, so that's the mid, and then we'll leave that highlight there. Um, what else are we gonna do? So we'll add the year somewhere. And when, where are we at? Number 52, I think. So I thought of some idea where it'd be neat to have the five and the two be pretty similar uh, this way. So what do we gotta do here? This, like this. Now that's gonna be, uh, let's see, how tall is that there? Uh, bang. Okay. And then this one, we'll bring it back like that. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, and that one maybe needs to be a little bigger, but that's what we're gonna leave it now. So five, two, um, we should probably put maybe the teams and the date and so what is it February whatever well, let's just do 2018 so we'll do 18 up here And maybe these letters are, these uh, numbers are secondary to the 5-2. So maybe those will just stay gray and we'll just add this little gray um, drop shadow to them, to the letters. Add numbers again. And maybe we'll just shade them from top to bottom. Okay, and then the 5-2, maybe we, yeah, let's do the pencil first. Make that darker there. And I think we'll make those 3D also. So 
So you can really see the contrast difference between the gray 18 and the dark 5-2. That's because the 5-2 is, is really the most important part of it. Well, the football will be. So everything, if everyone's yelling, you can't hear anything. So everything can't be the brightest, everything can't be the darkest. So you have to choose uh, what you want the focus to be. Oh, those lines aren't perfect, darn. All right, I'm going to go back with my gray pencil and use this as the center of where my perspective is going to be. So I'm bringing all the lines to about that spot. I don't know if you see that. So this one to there. And darn, nothing there. So I should have made it a little lower for this one and a little higher for that one. So I'm going to. So I'm going to do it down here and here. So this one will be down here. Oops, that's not even close. Yeah, that one's a little off. Let's adjust that. And then here. Okay, and then this one we'll put up here so we can get the top of this showing. Okay. And I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll see. And I'm going to go over those lines with this also. This 2B, which is soft. Um, and where were we down here? Oh, I'm bouncing the camera, sorry guys. And now let's go over, we're going to go over the football now. I'm just sharpening my pencil because this is a soft pencil, so I will need, you, you might need to do yours too. So I'm keeping some of the gray, well all of the gray because I'm not going erasing it. But I'm going to add some details. These little laces on the football. And if you don't like football, you can still learn some typography which is the art of uh, letters and all that. Um, and just some different abstract techniques that I'm going to be showing you. So now I'm just making this line thicker over um, on the bottom and on the sides. And less at the top. And let's curl it up to that and make that. So I'm really using this pencil as my dark. You can hear the rain, probably.
Excuse me. And now let's see if we can. So now I'm not pushing quite as dark here because I want a little lighter value. But to go under the five, And there wouldn't be any on here because that's the light side, so I'll do it on this part and on the two. Yeah, I guess it would be there too, but I'm not going to do that because I want it to be have some differences. So I'm going to go back in with the gray on the sides. And they actually look pretty close in value. But the color is different. And I'm going to go in and add a little bit of dark to the, to the 18. Just a little bit there. I'm not pushing as hard because I still want it to be secondary. But I do want it to be, it has to be a little darker to fit with the design, I think. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark to the top. A little contrast. All right, now let's see what we can do with, what are we going to do with our marker? I don't know, but I think I'll do the numbers. Um, and I'm going to leave some areas, so there's some highlight, I think. And I'm not really sure where. Obviously near the top, but maybe there's another little bit right there. Because where that part uh, sticks out, it catches it. And I might not. As you can see, I just got rid of it. And then there's going to be another big highlight on the bottom there. And then here, it'll be about the same. And you can see I changed the shape of the highlight on this one. And this is picking up some of my pencil and color pencil. So it's making it a little dirty. Um, you want to be careful with that, of course, and test that before you do this. Well, if you're watching me, you can see me testing it for you. Um, if this was going to be a finished drawing just the way it is, I would not want that, of course, because it would look dirty. But I'm going to actually add something else to it, so it's okay. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow highlights or reflections or uh, light shining from that one and I'm going to flip this over and do it on this side too and I might try to do this one a little bit I want it a little bit bigger here all right so looking pretty neat, I think. And now we have the big guy from this surprise, from this month's box. And here we are. Some abstract, messy acrylics. And I'm going to show you something fun. That I already did in a different uh, picture. that you'll see posted, you'll see posted on Instagram. Um, but what, what I did is I grabbed a piece of the box, I ripped a piece of our the box that your all your supplies came in, um, and I'm use, gonna use it as a brush to make some streaks, some to add some paint. And I also took one of the layers of the paper off, so you have this corrugated texture, and we can see if that actually makes a texture for us when we paint. Of course it does or I wouldn't be telling you about it, um, so here we go. Let's see what we're going to do. 
And am I just going to squirt it on there? Um, I think I'm going to after. For this one, I'm going to uh, just squirt it in a sketchbook as my palette. And then I'm going to use this as my brush. So there we go. And what are we going to do? Hmm. There's a speck of something right there. So what do we got? So now what can I do with that? Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to try. Can I scrape some of this out with the other side? No. <laughs> no, I can't. So let's grab, I have a tissue here. Let's see if I can get some of this paint off the football part and see what it looks like. And this is a process, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. Was a good idea. But now you have, and I'm showing you different techniques, so now you have the paint that's thick with the texture. You have it light, it's transparent. You can see through it, so you can go in and um, take more and, and add more paint to it. Oh, and I'm gonna do it with the opposite side now. And now here. And maybe that's a neat looking t-shirt. It's not, but maybe it is, it's not. But it could be, it's not, but it could be. See the 18 is gone. And then I'm going to go in and just add more of that there. And then I have paint all over me now, but I'm still going to see if we can, what else can we do with this? We can make dots. And I am making these making these dots with my left hand. I am right-handed. I am not Yaniga Mentoya looking for the six-fingered six fingered man. I am right-handed. I am not left-handed. So much like him. So anyway, enough of that ramble. So that is what we're making this month. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned uh, some fun little techniques, some tricks with these supplies, um, the eraser is an eraser. It's fantastic. Um, just please share us, share with us what you you make. Love to see what you do. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to our YouTube channel right down there below the video, and please leave a comment uh, if there's a demonstration you'd like to see done, uh, either subject um, or material. Let us know, and of course. Uh, have a great month and be sure to remember to smile, create, repeat.